All right. La last time uh, we looked at uh, creating mutation. Uh, so we earlier created a mutation for you know creating a new employee, and um, it looked something like this: create employee, where we had uh, arguments. Um, these are the fields are that will be passed, you know, to the mutation uh, while creating a new employee. And this is the return. This is what we hope to return. And then we have a method called mutate um, that defines how we are going to save our data. And then we finally have a return. This looks pretty good and uh, works uh, quite well. Now, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier that we can use uh, forms. Uh, if we look at the documentation um, on mutations, so uh, the first part is mainly using graphene mutation uh, in everything. Uh, you see we are using the graphene mutation class and finding our arguments and then finding the mutate method. But there is also an option of using Django forms, okay, whereby um, if we look at this, we are told that Graphene Django comes with mutation classes that will convert the fields on Django forms into inputs. <laughs> Listen to that. It will convert the fields on Django forms to inputs. So basically, it will replace this part. This part sort of defines our inputs, what we are inputting to the mutation uh, for us to be able to save or to create our records or to make any changes we need to make. Now, that is where our, instead of now doing this, we'll be using Django form to, you know, to define the fields and then our, um, and then the mutation classes will convert those fields on the Django forms into inputs automatically. So let's take a look at how that would work. Uh, let me pull back. Um, so ideally, if you have used Django forms, you know that we have the form class and then we have the model form class. Uh, so the form class is where, our, for example, if you look at this, our, you define the fields manually but with the with the model form you you automatically pick the fields from the model that is supplied in the meta class so you know that's the difference ideally so as you can look at this for example taking this as an example with you're defining the name field but here you have your model and you're not on the form once you use a model form, you don't have to define the field. You just specify the model and then what fields you want to pick from that model. All right, so our, I created, uh, I already created um, a mutation based on the model form. Uh, let us first run it and see how it works. So our, uh, where is it? So here, our, I am basically, I'm basically uh, uh, defining my employee form and I am using a model form. So I basically just uh, say what my model is. It is the employee model, which is basically imported. This is how it looks like. All right. And then I specify the fields I just want to pick. Our task you know, a couple of fields, just like five, but I'm only interested in two, okay? So this is a normal model form, Django model form. So now when we come to creating our mutation, so all we do is I have a class called create employee mutation. Uh, I try to separate the naming from this previous one. So create employee mutation. So what happens is that our we, you know, it inherits from, oh, we supply a super class of Django model form mutation, uh, which is from um, Graphene Django forms mutation. 
Uh, so let's say if we are using the, the normal forms, not the model forms, we'll be using the Django form mutation, which is here. Uh, but now we are using the, the model form mutation. So all we have to do really is um, come here and, and say what our form is. And now uh, also uh, just uh, supply uh, what our return will be. So what we put here is what our return will be. So basically we are returning, once we save and all that, we'll be returning the employee type and we already have the field specified here. So this is all we have to do really. We don't have to even like create a mutate method or something like that. So all we did was just apply what we are returning and say what our mod our form is and this is a model form. So our uh, the rest will happen automatically. Uh, this, whatever is supplied here in the form will be our input fields. All right. So uh, we come back here under the employee mutations. I just named this, rename this a little bit. It used to be mutation, but now it's called employee mutations. So we just say our create employee will be uh, this create employee mutation, which, which basically uses a form, right? Uh, remember, all our mutations are picked from here, so whatever we define comes here, all right? So you say I have other mutations, but I just left these as is. These are not based on forms. I just, um, you know, changed the one for create, all right? And supplied it here. So let's see how that works. Uh, all right, so, uh, um, okay. So if I come to employee mutation, what we can see is that uh, now the create employee, it takes an input, okay? It no longer takes direct fields like um, first name, last name. It takes an input object, yeah? So uh, if I click this, now you find that inside there are fields that I am really supposed to supply. So, our, so when now I'm creating my uh, my 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 mutation uh, to 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 create a new record, I just sort of uh, previously I would just come and put this straight out, uh, but now I just have to do something like this: input object, then I I put what I want to send, and then what I'm returning, basically, yeah. So, uh, if I, let me set, this is test, uh, test one, two, three, test one, two, three, and if I create, boom, you see it's created uh, very well. Uh, if I uh, check, um, yeah, you see, our new record is, is there, all right? Yeah, so um, uh, that's how it works. Uh, so it's possible to use forms. And uh, yeah, this was. Uh, and uh, just something I'd like to add. Uh, you may be wondering, because uh, you see in this previous mutation, we had to, you know, add a mutate, you know, method, a class method, but we didn't have to do that here. So you may be wondering how all that is happening. So you realize that we are, you know, inheriting from um, Django model form mutation. So which means that there is functionality that we are actually inheriting from this class. And part of it is actually, our, uh, you know, mute, you know the, the, the mutate method and all that is already there. So uh, if I open this class, uh, which is, you know, uh, you can see that um it already you know does something here you know perform mutate um and we are basically saving the form yeah here so uh, of course one can override this method if you want to you know uh change the way you know the save is being done and and, and do some other custom logic in there this can be overridden uh, you know, but from what go, 
we don't really have to do that because the functionality is already provided for us. So if you are to compare, you can actually see this look shorter and you know cleaner. And um, we just had to write more code here, but yeah, this kind of looks shorter. So uh, this is, you know, this kind of shows it's possible. This fully shows that it's possible to use forms, and um, it's also possible to use our. Uh, uh, you know Django REST framework, but we won't be touching that uh, in this in this video. All right, uh, thank you so much. I'll be creating more.